Hi, I'm Robert Alexander from iChem Labs, and this is the ChemDoodle Web Sketcher Keyboard Shortcuts tutorial for ChemDoodle Web Sketcher version 5. In the Web Sketcher Advanced tutorial, I showed how you can adjust the size or angle of a drawn structure using Shift and Alt respectively. In this tutorial, I will demonstrate the remaining keyboard shortcuts while creating a complex structure, Viagra. Firstly, I'm going to open up a structure from ChemDoodle that has some of the groundwork already laid out. I have to press Command O, then the load box opens up, and I can retrieve the structure that is saved on my clipboard. I want to zoom into the drawing area a little. Command plus zooms me in, and I can zoom out again with Command minus if I need to. Alternatively, I could use the mouse scroll wheel to zoom in and out when my cursor is hovering the drawing area. If I was on a tablet or mobile device, I could use a pinch gesture for zooming instead. As you can see, the structure is almost complete, but I have some fine tuning to do before it's ready. First, I can add rings by pressing shift and then a number. In this case, pressing shift and six will give me a cyclohexane ring. I can also do this while hovering bonds. This time I'm going to hover the desired bond and press shift five to create a cyclopentane ring here. I can also add a carbon chain by hovering an atom and pressing a number. For instance, if I hit 3 here, an optimized carbon chain appears. I'm going to add another carbon chain onto the end of that ring by pressing 2. OK, that chain is too long, so I'm going to hover an atom and press backspace to delete that atom. Now, that didn't work. I removed the whole chain, so I'm going to undo that by pressing Command Z. If I hit it again, I'll remove my other carbon chain. Now, of course, I don't want to remove that carbon chain, so I'm going to use Command Y to redo my previously undone actions. Keep in mind, you cannot do this if you have done anything since hitting undo. So I'm back to having a carbon chain that is too long. I'll use backspace again to remove the atom at the end of the chain. Now things are looking more accurate. I need to change a few of these atom labels. I just need to hover over the atom I want to change, and then press the relevant letter key. I can then cycle through the atoms with chemical symbols, starting with that letter, until I have my desired chemical symbol. If I wanted to change the charge of any of these atoms, I could just hover them and press plus to create a positive charge, or press minus to create a negative charge. If you have a charged atom, you can remove the charge by pressing the opposite charge until the charge disappears. So I can use minus to remove this positive charge. The atoms themselves are pretty okay now, so I'm going to move on and start fixing the bonds. There's a protruding bond here. I can flip that bond by hovering it and pressing F. This will make the protruding bond face in the opposite direction. However, I don't really need this bond, so I'm going to hover it and press backspace to remove it. Next, some of these bonds have the wrong bond order. To change the bond order, I hover the bond and press the number corresponding to the bond order I want. So I'm going to switch a couple of these to double bonds. Next, I need to return a few of these to single bonds. Obviously, I can only use numbers 1, 2, or 3 to create single, double, and triple bonds respectively. OK, and there I have Viagra. There are a few more shortcuts I want to show, and to do that, I'm going to zoom out a bit and add some shapes and rings around the Viagra structure. If I want to delete any of these shapes, I can again use backspace to remove them, just as with atoms and bonds. Instead of clicking the lasso tool and then selecting items in the doodle area, I'm going to press Command A. This will switch to the lasso tool and select everything on the doodle board. Some of these structures and shapes, due to my positioning of them, are tricky to select with the lasso tool, so I'm going to use keyboard shortcuts to select them individually. Similar to using a web page, pressing tab with the lasso function selected selects the next structure. Once I have Viagra selected, I'm going to save the structure by pressing Command S. I can now save a file to my computer, which can be opened up in ChemDoodle. 
I can press Shift and Tab to select the next shape until I get to the one I want to work with. Once I've finished everything I wanted to do with the lasso tool, I can easily switch back to the single bond tool by pressing spacebar. This deselects any current selection and highlights the single bond tool button. The doodle board is getting fairly crowded now and I don't need the Viagra structure anymore since I've already saved it. I can press Command N to clear all items from the doodle board and start on my next project.